trophies, but Chattanooga has won the past three. We kick it off when we come back after this. Shot themselves in the foot as much as anything. But impressive wins against Kennesaw State and the Citadel and at Samford. And he's got a bunch of targets, does Artopia, as he finds them open. All the guys uh, that are open or finds them open 95% of the time, like right here and again in the flat. And on first and 10, close to 100 first downs on the season, 96 over their first four games. And Ford might have enough. Artopius again to throw. All kinds of time. Dumps it underneath. Hard hit delivered. And all but six of them. They went 15 and six in a stretch to get their victories in the series. Third down and long. Artopius again forced out of the pocket. Gets past Smith. And it's intercepted. Folks tell us, but he's got football savvy. And he's a guy that knows how to play the game. Extending the play here. Connecting. And it should be enough for a first down. So welcome to the SOCON, Paulie Seely. Ryan Ingram's run yards, a many in the conference, and a big gain to get the first down. Wind is not a factor. And his career high earlier in the season against William & Mary of 44. That one has the distance, and it's good. So the Terriers taking advantage. Lost back on the sack and a couple extra. But third down and eight. Time for Artopius. Looking for the first down marker. Not going to get there. Games. Seeley, near side, reaching up, pulling it in. Great catch, Jordan Davis, and he got a foot in back. He now moves into that left slot, first and 10, just shy of midfield. Pressure comes, Seely running for his life now, and does a good job of it. Alex Mitchell on that opening possession. Here's Parsons with a hole, first down and more. Finally wrapped up inside the 35. Going on right now, the Wolford Family Athletic Center taking shape in Chattanooga. Second field goal try for Wofford and a good William & Mary team. I think it was ranked number three at the time they played him. But 0 for 4 as the night begins. Ingram, though, busting through. First down, and he's out across the 20. Their second field goal. Third and 10, stepping up pulley. Over the middle has Davis. Not for the first down. Mock so far, 0 for 3. Artopius. Running away from pursuit, grabbed from behind. Chattanooga missing Lance Jackson. We saw them against the Citadel a couple of weeks ago. He had a good game. Play action complete. Oh, and a step away from breaking it. Eyes. From the Wofford, 31. Completing, but well shy. And Maximus Pulley, one of the great names in all. So here is a guy making his homecoming, Clayton Kreil. Missed a 52-yarder last week at Samford, but that one would have been good from midfield. To Quay Wiggles, who has the huge shoes of the graduated Devonche Maxwell to fill. He's up around 300. Seely extends the play, and Watkins hit hard as the ball got to connection to Jamoy Mays for Chattanooga. That's pretty much been it. Houston, though, has a hole, and you talk about some chunk yards. He lost his footing as he got near midfield. That's why they love the future. Under six and a half to go before the half. Open field, connecting, and trying to cut outside and doing just that is Watley. Second down and 10. Slip screen, Phillips so good with the ball in his hands, but wow, big time reaction in a hurry. 32 yard attempt for Cryo, hit run from 10 yards further back just moments ago, and again, booming kick. Seely the handoff, Ingram the hole, the first down, and he's out across the 40. One third down attempts tonight. Artopius over the middle, caught, and then Watley hit hard, but somehow hangs on to it. He's got the first down near midfield, and he's still on his feet. Dot down the field. He's now 9 of 18 on the night. So just over 100 yards, throwing again long, again in the direction of Watley, and again it's intercepted in roughly a dozen games last year for Sanford. Well, last week they had hires on the ropes and this time connecting with Holt for big yards. Five. Two field goals apiece in the opening half. Parsons again with room in the middle. Broke away from a Weichel tackle, pushes several mocks down to the 15. Down and four for Wofford. You get a first down inside of the five. So now David Leggett, third running back used tonight, cuts outside.
agility and the awareness here. Get outside, boom, jump cut, and then finishing it off to get in the end zone. Big drive. As the Terriers ahead by seven on the number 22 team in the land. And then many other at-large bids to the FCS playoffs. Chase Artopius and Chattanooga trying to get something going. Watley. Seely, pressure comes. Near sideline, diving try. Covering Devin Matthews. Seely, eight for 20 on the night. Over the middle, intercepted. Two years, and here they are, year five together. But he is such a great defensive coordinator for this Mox team. And that's a great connection. Artopius over the middle. And Watley in zone. Maximus Pulley saved the touchdown. Quarterback keep, and Artopius is in. Uh, the response after the interception here, zone read. Everybody following forward, Artopius, easy edge. Week against Samford, which may have taken the reigning champion out of the race with an 0-2 start. Play action, Matthews on the connection that time. It's six at the half. Quick look to his right. In the flat, good job by Holt to get away from one, but finally wrapped up and taken down two weeks ago. Here they are tied late in the third quarter. Artopius time over the middle, deflected and nearly caught by Phillips, but it hit the turf. Linebacker number 41 for Chattanooga has been all over the place. Pressure comes this time and the pocket collapsing on Paulie Seeley. First down throwing Artopius in the flat. So it's a shifty runner after he catches the ball. Oh, Sam Phillips towards the right, and then it floods back to the left. Running room this time in the middle. And Houston returns. He was having a big night. First and ten. Artopius again looking deep. Again looking for Phillips and incomplete. He's hit from 42 and 32 yards. This would give the Mox their first lead of the evening and no trouble at all. Years ago, forced to watch from the sidelines again this week. Sealy, though, has done a nice job in connecting. There he finds his tight end, Bryson Dickerson. Everything has worked better offensively tonight than it had coming into the game. Look at Leggett firing out of the backfield. Gets across midfield. Wofford enjoyed leads of 6 0 and 13 6. Sealy looking deep in stride. Incomplete in and out of the hands of Ricky Shaw. Looked much better in the second half. Ford limped over to the sidelines after picking up six. Artopius tucks it and runs. Has the first down. And he slides in beyond the 40. Thankful they answered that call. Another third down. Artopius fires. Backing out of bounds on the reception. So now a first and ten inside the 30. Fake on the handoff. Throw over the middle in the clear. And into the end zone. Second touchdown grab of the year. There is a penalty marker back near the line of scrimmage. Artopius really throws a nice ball. But that O line is blocking the, the field. First and 15. Back near the 35. Pump fake. Now in the flat to Mays. And it'll go out of bounds. Under six to go in the fourth quarter. Appleberry hesitation. Inside the five. Well, here in the fourth quarter. Now 44 yards for him. And he's in. Touchdown. And the touchdown will stand. And a big drive here. It turned out to be the Geno Appleberry drive. He takes it in for the TD. Chattanooga on the road. Now up 23-13. Back-to-back road trips are tough in any league in any sport. Artopius going to throw with a 10-point lead. Man in the flat gets him a first down. Was their go to guy. Second down and 10. They'll give it to Appleberry. Terriers trying to strip the ball. On this defense for Wofford in his career, Harrison Morgan. Now Pulley. Or Sealy, rather, connecting with Holt near midfield. Terriers need to. Second down and seven. Moxon doing a good job getting to the Terriers freshman quarterback. Leggett, forward progress, going to stop them. Second and ten, Seeley. Pressure up the middle. 
on the run. Penalty marker thrown in the backfield. Second and 20. Now from Whopper territory. Seeley on the run. Now he'll sprint toward the sideline. Give Wofford anything underneath. Yeah, backpedaling here. And once again, the freshman QB sees the opportunity. He'll be pushed out of bounds. Seeley throws, completes for the first down. That's Holt. Clock will. First and 10, Seeley. Loses the ball, scramble for it. Uh, Barriers losing a first fumble on the night. And now look at this. A sprint out of the backfield. Gino Appleberry, 13 carries for 93 yards. Victory formation and Rusty Wright. Three head coaches and others visiting at midfield. Four straight win in the series for the Mox. Defense finishes it off with the turnover to win the game. You know, their opening game this year, they lost down at North Alabama.